As part of Care Experience Week, I talked to Sarah Tervet about her experiences working as a mentor coordinator for the Time For Me programme, which is a programme to help support care experienced people or people who are young carers. The programme also offers help to those who have experienced financial disadvantages compared to other college students. This is what Sarah had to say. So can you tell me a bit about yourself and the programme? So I have worked at the college college for 17 years Mm -hmm. so I started in learning support and then about four and a half nearly five years ago this role was advertised Mm -hmm. which at the time was a time for me mentor coordinator and again he was looking at different barriers this time that some students can face and it was looking at these specific groups of students who we know and all the evidence suggests Mm -hmm. that despite all the strengths that they bring to the table their educational outcomes are poorer than their counterparts who don't come from those backgrounds so time for me is a mentoring initiative that looks to enhance a young person's transition into college by giving targeted support. That's what Time For Me aims to do, but the clue is in the title, it's time for you, so it's not, you might go to a lecturer for help on your coursework and things like that. You might go to a learning support advisor for help about like your study skills and your learning in the classroom. But this is really about whatever the young person wants to talk about, it's time for them. So it's not learning related, the mentors, not anybody that would, would ever teach them. And they're looking to build those softer skills like confidence, self-belief, resilience, problem solving and communication, they're our five key. And it's literally, how's your week going? What's going well this week? What's maybe not going so well? Getting to know the person and helping them through any challenges that they might be facing um, and giving someone a safe space to do that. Our mentors are Fourth Valley College staff, but they're volunteering their time. We recruit from within, so the maximum we've ever had, I think is this year, and we started the year with 32 mentors. And our mentors are only required to volunteer for one academic year. So they go through training, there's a robust recruitment process, and I would give them supervision throughout. That's essentially who they are. But this allows them to develop a relationship and support a student in a way that you don't necessarily get to do in the you, you're not kind of normal everyday jobs. So your lecturers, for instance, will get to know the students and get to know you, but they won't really develop that really close relationship. So this is this is a chance for the, the staff to have the opportunity to do that. But it also gives them a lot of skills um, and knowledge and experience by going through the training and by supporting these students um, that will enhance their roles. So it's a professional development tool for them as well. So how we recruit the young people is via our partners. So we reach out to schools, social work departments, carers organisations, organisations like Skills Development Scotland who might already be working with a knower young person um, who's from this particular background and we say to them this is what Time For Me could offer, do you think this would benefit this young person and would they engage? So we have maximum probably 25 to 30 spaces a year. One of the targets for the project is to have a high satisfaction rate amongst our mentees. If they're satisfied with it, they're going to stay. We have a over 90% satisfaction rate. So we survey the young people every year so that we're constantly getting that evaluation. We recently had an independent evaluation done. We felt it was important that we got someone independent to come in and do a full evaluation. But yeah, satisfaction's high. And what we find is the people that are matched with a mentor will stay with the mentor even if they then choose three to six months down the line nine months down the line to leave college they'll have made an informed choice to do that and that's seen as more of a positive decision rather than approaching a barrier and then just walking away you know there's lots of conversations that happens we'll link them into other people and that mentor can be a great source of support for that so even if the student doesn't necessarily stay at college it's still a positive experience and a positive outcome for them. So if you were a young person and you wanted to know more, you'd get that from a mem- any member of staff at the college and then I would have a conversation with that young person and tell more and we've got an induction process and a handbook that tells more. And that's how people would find out about that.